Where's to Hal mean Freon and welcome to another video on a more positive note. After delving into the madness of the shills of Amazon, we've got some, well, positive news concerning the Lord of the Rings. And although I'm not much of a gamer and even less so a mobile fay gamer, uh, well, I am very much excited to hear about this because it seems that they are sticking to... Uh, the concepts of the adaptations that we know and love. Uh, so let us dive into the article, The Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-Earth in Development by EA for Mobile. Electronic Arts has announced mobile collectible RPG, The Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-Earth is in development. In partnership with Middle-Earth Enterprises, The Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-Earth promises to bring the fantasy and adventure of The Lord of the Rings to exciting fans existing fans, sorry, and new audiences alike in a strategic, social, competitive experience. We are incredibly excited to partner with the Soul Sands Company and Middle Earth Enterprises on the next generation of mobile role-playing games, EAVP of Mobile RPG Malaki Boyle stated. The team is filled with fans of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, and each day they bring their tremendous passion and talents together to deliver an authentic experience for players, Boyle assured. The combination of high-fidelity graphics, cinematic animations and stylized art immerses players in the fantasy of Middle-earth, where they'll go head-to-head -head with their favorite characters. We are thrilled to be working with EA once again, this time to bring a mobile game solely inspired by Middle-earth, as described in the literary works of G.R.R. Tolkien to its fans. Middle-earth Enterprise's chief brand and licensing o uh, officer Frederick Adrotos praised. It's an honor to work with the talented Capital Games team whose knowledge and love of the lore is palpable throughout. While there seems to be plenty of confidence from all involved exactly what the new mobile game will involve wasn't elaborated upon overly much. Players have promised that the Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-earth will feature immersive storytelling, turn-based combat, deep collection systems and a wide roster of characters from across the vast universe of the Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. This will also involve fighting in iconic scenes from Tolkien's works against the greatest threats Middle-earth has known. Action is also mentioned, eliminating any action RPG or even RTS style game. This leaves a potential for anything from party versus party battles again akin to Looney Tunes World of Mayhem to a tactical RPG akin to Fire Emblem Heroes. Regardless, all we have to rely on for now is a singular teaser trailer via Twitter. It's a dangerous business going out your door. There's no knowing where you might be swept off to. But we're on our way to Middle Earth in your new mobile game, EA Entice. You can watch it by yourselves here. I don't want to get a copyright strike. However, we might have some hints from another EA and Capital Games mobile game, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, The Rain. Players collect Star Wars characters, each upgradable and with their own special skills and traits that can complement one another. Players then build a team of five or five light or dark characters to take on foes in single player or take them online to find others. Players can also earn and buy currency to acquire more heroes akin to the gacha system of many mobile games, along with daily challenges to earn more rewards. As the Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-earth shares heroes in its title, could it imply similar gameplay? Reskinning and improving upon Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes would be cost-effective. Then again, Heroes does seem to be a popular title on the App Store and Google Play. Are you looking forward to the Lord of the Rings, Heroes of Middle-earth? Let us know on social media and in the comments below. Well, that applies to you, my friends, as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you are looking forward to this game. It seems to me, uh, when we are talking about the Soul Zen's company, uh, that uh, Warner Brothers, or whoever holds the rights, are, of course, trying to uh, create some new content uh, with the Lord of the Rings in it because there was this famous uh, dispute over the rights uh, and Amazon is of course I think very much 
well, they think about buying more licenses uh, so they can screw up even more things, which I would not like, of course. So even though I'm not much of a gamer and I only play like one video game a year, and that's a console game. I'm a I'm a PlayStation fan. I don't really play uh, video games on mobile phones or computers. I do support this uh, if it's anything that's not connected with Amazon and that it's actually, as it was stated here, it is. Um, we are thrilled to be working with EA once again. This time to bring a mobile game solely inspired by Middle Earth, as described in the literary works of J.R.R. Tolkien to its fans. Uh, if it's anything like this, I'm a huge supporter of it, and I hope it will be good, and I hope a lot of people will buy it and enjoy it. And that will be all. There's a, my dog barking, so I should probably go. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and Marie.